tongue chewing. There's a great interest in chewing gum to increase muscle tone. And as I describe on the video where I look at Jude Law, the link, um, the top link below here at the moment, I look at the inner U, the inner U here, and the outer U here, and I look at the difference between the two inner U, the, the two base blocks of what you can change within facial um, form. I see a lot of people who understand what I'm saying jumping into this gargantuan uh, chewing marathon and building up the outer you, the sort of muscle effect, the masticatory muscle effect on their facial form. And they do really well at that. But it can upset jaw joint problems, or it can precipitate subacute underlying jaw joint problems, particularly those people who leave their tongue between the teeth at rest. And of course, it's not building things up in balance. What we really need to do is building up the posture of the tongue. That's difficult, so maybe we could focus on building up the muscle tone of the tongue in the same way we can build up the muscle tone of the masticatory muscles. So we build up the muscle tone of the tongue, of course posture and function are intertwined. Building up posture is so much more difficult than building up um, function. Function you can focus on it. So I've come up with the concept of um, tongue chewing. So you're chewing using your tongue and you're using some gum. For this I'll use normal everyday chewing gum. So this is a sort of everyday chewing gum you'd buy on the high street anywhere. Of course there's lots of different varieties, I won't go into that. But the idea with this is that you're not chewing between your teeth, as most people are doing with chewing gum. You're squeezing the tongue on the roof of your mouth. So if we're taking this as someone's palate, I'm placing the chewing gum on the roof of the mouth, slightly set back from the rugae, the rough areas at the front, behind the front teeth, so at the front of the palate, on the sort of usually steeper section, it depends how deep your palate is. Rolling the chewing gum into a ball, and then squeezing it on the roof of the mouth, and pushing it forwards or sometimes doing a rolling motion with my tongue, sometimes seeing how far back I can get it. But I'm really trying to spread this piece of chewing gum out massively. So, to demonstrate. Now here, on the roof of my tongue, I have reduced a nice flat piece of gum. And I'll put it back again in the roof of my mouth. Squeeze it flat. Roll it up. Squeeze it flat. Repetitively, repetitively, repetitively. I was impressed with myself recently. I had a car journey. It was about a 45 minute journey. I was doing some tongue chewing for most of the duration of that journey. Finally, when I got to the roundabout just to, beside my house, I stopped, I went to put my teeth together, and I could notably feel how I'd expanded the upper dental arch. And that was in 40 minutes. It seems an interesting and slightly different way to approach the chewing gum, um, with chewing gum usage because and, and the functional approach and it is an interesting way to use chewing gum that I'm using I'm trying myself now seeing if I can get a little bit of whip because I definitely notice I'm a little bit flat here and my tongue posture could certainly be improved and it's rhythmic pushing the tongue on the roof of the mouth pushing the tongue on the roof of the mouth but one important thing is when you squeeze this piece of gum out on the roof of the mouth, and that's why I'm using the slightly softer high street gum rather than some of the tougher gums you can choose, I'm seeing how far back I can get the back edge, the posterior edge, because when I want to squeeze it, I want to really start engaging the back third of my tongue. 
and I'm really going to start engaging the back third of my tongue the further back this piece of chewing gum is along the roof of the mouth. And so I think that's a quite an important aspect of this. Um, clearly these are all still work in development and we'll keep you posted on this.